What's up, Sky Watchers? What is up indeed? The European Incoherent Scatter Scientific Association, or ISCAT. ISCAT operates three incoherent scatter radar systems in northern Scandinavia and Svalbard. These facilities are to modify the ionosphere and magnetosphere and study the interaction between the Sun and the Earth. The three facilities that work together are located in Tromsø, Norway, Finland, and Sweden. And these facilities are capable of pumping out 2 million watts of radio power into the ionosphere. In December of 2023, a sudden stratospheric warming event took place. The anomaly at 84,000 feet in the stratosphere was a heat signature situated directly above the ice cap facilities. Now we already know that ionospheric heaters like Harp and Superdarn can move jet streams, create artificial auroras, and earthquake lights. So what else are these doomsday weapons capable of? High frequency modulation transmitted by ionospheric heaters like Harp, Superdarn, ISCAT, and the South Pole Station can cause an elfin wave generation, which in turn creates an extremely low frequency harmonic in Earth's atmosphere. This elfin wave generation can also induce solar activity due to the quantum vibration between the two bodies, a feedback loop. This is exactly what Tesla was referring to when he stated man could tap into the breast of Mother Sun and release her energy toward Earth as needed, magnetic as well as light. The future is now. I'd like to thank Miss Addy, Christy, and someone for using my Buy Me A Coffee link. Your support keeps this channel going. Much love and many thanks. Alright Skywatchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, Keep looking up.